but it's aced it hanging onto the lead with strip light and keep the receipt on the far side is Monsoon just behind them Swiss Army officers there's about five in line as they head to the final furlong Monsoon the far side near side keep the receipt Swiss Army officers strip light aced it quick quick the near side Monsoon's hanging on to an advantage in front Monsoon with quick quick coming home strongly on the near side as they go to the line Monsoon's keeps the Russell Sullivan record going and second is airlift possibly but it's aced it hanging onto the lead with strip light and keep the receipt on the far side is Monsoon just behind them Swiss Army officers there's about five in line as they head to the final furlong Monsoon the far side near side keep the receipt Swiss Army officer strip light aced it quick quick the near side Monsoon's hanging on to an advantage in front Monsoon with quick quick coming home strongly on the near side as they go to the line Monsoon's keeps the Russell Sullivan record going and second is airlift possibly with Majestic Jewel and quick quick that was tight they were followed in further back by strip light who was just in front of Royal Hideaway and Tipperary Moon on the outside of Helen de Pertail. Pushak is now headed, and the action's on the near side. Helen de Pertail with Tipperary Moon. Time and Money and Jack Miller just behind them, but it's Helen de Pertail who's right over on the near side with Tipperary Moon. Time and Money is trying to come strongly over on the near side as well, but it's Helen de Pertail who holds the advantage from Time and Money, who's lunging all the while on the near side. Helen de Pertail is going to see it out from Time and Money, and then comes Tipperary Moon. Tipperary Moon on the outside of Helen de Pertail. Pushak is now headed, and the action's on the near side. Helen de Pertail with Tipperary Moon. Time and Money and Jack Miller just behind them but it's Helen de Pertail who's right over on the near side with Tipperary Moon Time and Money is trying to come strongly over on the near side as well but it's Helen de Pertail who holds the advantage from Time and Money who's lunging all the while on the near side Helen de Pertail is going to see it out from Time and Money and then comes Tipperary Moon in front of Irish Ambassador pulsating New York Ballester and a Lady Jack Mel Tammy uses gold in front of the next which is Pushak Nayland is trying to come well on the outside and trying to come widest of all in behind these is Labaland but in front it's Accessory and Chagall who go to war Labaland's done well to come from where it is but it's Chagall the far side on the near side Accessory there's none getting to them at this point it's Chagall and just getting the upper hand as they go towards the line Chagall beats Accessory it's going to be Chagall who wins Accessory second little Camacho is in front Nayland is trying to come well on the outside and trying to come widest of all in behind these is Labaland but in front it's Accessory and Chagall who go to war Labaland's done well to come from where it is but it's Chagall the far side on the near side accessory there's none getting to them at this point it's Chagall and just getting the upper hand as they go towards the line Chagall beats accessory it's going to be Chagall who wins accessory second little Camacho is in front of further back silk cravat near side Nayland and then Ocean Air Labaland and Luna Star with Kinch and Scarlet Seymour Eastern Racer goes to the front to the expense of Linus Larrabee. They're being followed by Fit for Function. Al Hazem's trying to come wide. Over on the far side is Arnhem. But in front, Eastern Racer taken on by Fit for Function. Al Hazem right over on the near side. Rattling back is Linus Larrabee. And over on the far side, Arnhem. Never back down is trying to get involved. But it's Al Hazem on the near side. Far side, Arnhem. In between them, they're not going to, going to get there. It's Al Hazem who has the advantage over on the near side. Is going to see it out. Al Hazem is possibly just going to get there and on the near side. Never back down was close for second. Eastern Racer goes to the front to the expense of Linus Larrabee. They're being followed by Fit for Function. Al Hazem's trying to come wide. Over on the far side is Arnhem, but in front, Eastern Racer taken on by Fit for Function. Al Hazem right over on the near side. Rattling back is Linus Larrabee, and over on the far side, Arnhem. Never back down is trying to get involved, but it's Al Hazem on the near side. Far side, Arnhem. In between them, they're not going to get there. It's Al Hazem who has the advantage over on the near side, is going to see it out. Al Hazem is possibly just going to get there and on the near side. Never back down was close for second with Arnhem on the the far side and defilade was in there too and they were followed in by Pulse of Shanghai. But it's Coulthard who leads, being followed by Angelawi. Takiko's over on the near side, being chased in behind by Chevion, who's next. But Coulthard still leads with Angelawi still pressing. Over on the far side, Zafi's pride is trying to improve, and the trio have drawn a couple away from the remainder, headed by Sir Cedric. And Angelawi's beginning to battle now on the near side of Coulthard, and Zafi's pride is taking a strong interest the far side. Zafi's pride is beginning to lengthen in the shadow of the post, and it's Zafi's pride is going to be Angelawi. Coulthard third, Sir Cedric is fourth. But it's Coulthard who leads, being followed by Angelawi. Takiko's over on the near side, being chased chased in behind by Chevion who's next but Coulthard still leads with Angelawi still pressing over on the far side Zafi's pride is trying to improve and the trio have drawn a couple away from the remainder headed by Sir Cedric and Angelawi's beginning to battle now on the near side of Coulthard and Zafi's pride is taking a strong interest the far side Zafi's pride is beginning to lengthen in the shadow of the post and it's Zafi's pride is going to be Angelawi Coulthard third Sir Cedric is fourth and they're being followed in by Chevion to Kiko and next up is Papal B red contender in front of collective power 
over on the far side. Tashman moving forwards, getting right on terms. There's Spelgas getting into it as well. They're the leading five with Drakensberg trying to get on terms with them. Ella Katrina, now the grey with over on the near side moving forward. Over on the far side is Spelgan. Right there too is Liquid Luck, but it's Ella Katrina now who just about holds the upper hand from on the far side. Spelga. This two in front of moving forward. Ella Katrina and Spelga are having a good old battle here as they go up towards the line. Spelga the far side. Ella Katrina the near side. Ella Katrina and Spelga it's close back in third. Over on the far side, Tashman. Spelga's getting into it as well. They're the leading five with Drakensberg trying to get on terms with them. Ella Katrina, now the grey, with over on the near side moving forward. Over on the far side is Spelga, and right there too is Liquid Luck, but it's Ella Katrina now who just about holds the upper hand from on the far side, Spelga. This two in front of moving forward. Ella Katrina and Spelga are having a good old battle here as they go up towards the line. Spelga the far side, Ella Katrina the near side. Ella Katrina and Spelga it's close back in third. Is moving forward. Liquid Luck is next in front of Drakensberg, Persian Lion, Chess Grand Master. Harriet's forces game over on the near side and the group of four are waiting for creationists to try and get to them and Order of Australia has a good battle on hands here now. Bolivar the near side, Sky 7 the far, Harriet's force on the near side and Creation is trying to take an interest. It's Order of Australia but only just inside the final furlong. Order of Australia with Bolivar, Sky 7 the far side. Order of Australia is going to have to pull it all out but he's doing just that. Order of Australia gets there, Bolivar second, Sky 7 third. Harriet's forces game over on the near side and the group of four are waiting for creationists to try and get to them and Order of Australia has a good battle on hands here now. Bolivar the near side, Sky 7 the far, Harriet's force on the near side and Creation is trying to take an interest. It's Order of Australia but only just inside the final furlong. Order of Australia with Bolivar, Sky 7 the far side. Order of Australia is going to have to pull it all out but he's doing just that. Order of Australia gets there, Bolivar second, Sky 7 third, then comes Creationist, Harriet's force and Latoy of North. New vocation leads, ridden along a journey felice. Gorman's townsman coaxed along. Right behind them, Daydreamin's over on the far side. Do the twist is in the group. Mother's approach is all over, trying to get a split, but might just have it now. And out in front, it's Dame Rapid from Gorman's Town and Daydreamin inside the closing stages, coming right across the near side. Dame Rapid, plenty of action late here. Daydreamin's trying to come home late, but Dame Rapid has gone to death there. Dame Rapid leads from and second is Daydreamin. Gorman's Town special memento. New vocation leads, ridden along a journey felice. Gorman's Town's been coaxed along. Right behind them, Daydreamin's over on the far side. Do the twist is in the group. Mother's approach is all over, trying to get a split, but might just have it now. And out in front. It's Dame Rapid from Gorman's Town and Daydreamin inside the closing stages, coming right across the near side. Dame Rapid, plenty of action late here. Daydreamin's trying to come home late, but Dame Rapid has gone to death there. Dame Rapid leads from and second is Daydreamin. Gorman's Town special memento, and they were followed in by Do the Twist and Shorny Felice with Shadow Mazar, and then Belmanan.